What's up, my Transit Dash Gaming fans, and welcome back to another Go Battle League video. Now, today I'm going to be reacting to a set of battles I did at lunch during school for the Flying Cup in Go Battle League. Now, it is currently Season 11, the interlude season in the Go Battle League, because, well, technically this is the time frame where hopefully Niantic will address and fix most of the prominent issues in the game right now. What is this? What is what is going on? What is this match? What the hell is that? What is this? What is currently happening on my screen? What am I looking at? Swap me out! What is going on? What is this? What is this? What was that? What is happening? What am I watching? What are like your shields? What is going on? What is, what am I playing? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I don't know. What was that? Anyways, I was running a really awesome triple Kanto Shadow team in the Flying Cup. Oh man, you guys have to see these battles. Like, in the Flying Cup, the meta is very, very bland because there are very few Pokemon that are flying types that can actually do well in GBL. Most of the top meta Pokemon are just known for their fast move pressure, so yeah. Because of that, I pretty much called the Flying Cup the Massacre Cup. And finally, I know it's kind of late, but I want to use the opportunity to give you guys a huge thank you for helping me hit 200 subscribers on YouTube. I'm so thankful to every single one of you guys, and I thank you for being such a supportive audience for this channel. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. Oh yeah, and also, we are getting relatively close to 250 subscribers, so um, by then I will actually make a subscriber special video uh, celebrating 250 subscribers. So. If you guys have an idea of what I should do for that, you can drop these ideas down in the comment section below. I would love to hear every single one of your ideas. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back into the Flying Cup. Alright guys, so we are here on the game screen, and let me go ahead and click on Flying Cup. You guys can see that the only uh, Pokemon type that is allowed in the, in the cup is obviously Flying. Ha 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 ha! And yeah, here is my triple Kanto Shadow team, which consists of Shadow Zapdos on the lead with Thundershock, Drillpeck, and Thunder. Oh man, I built this thing recently, and this thing hits hard on uh, the Open Great League meta. And yeah, I also had to use an Elite Fast TM uh, to get Thundershock on it, which I definitely recommend you guys doing, because Thundershock is such a a great fast move. But anyways, we have Shadow Gyarados on safe swap with Waterfall, Aqua Tail, and Crunch. Now Aqua Tail is the um, calm day move for uh, Gyarados, and unfortunately I had to Elite TM uh, Aqua Tail onto this Gyarados as well. Finally, we have the almighty Shadow Aerodactyl on the back with Rock Throw, Rock Slide, and Ancient Power. Yeah, this is what the Flying Cup is known for. These hard-hitting, fast-moved Pokemon like Shadow Aerodactyl. Oh yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the first round. Alright, so in the first battle, we are up against... Majesty Matt. And we are up against a Mantine on the lead, which is obviously very good for the Shadow Zapdos. Okay, and the opponent safe swaps into Aerodactyl. What is this? What is what is going on? Oh no, and what happened here? Actually, I'm going to pause the uh, recording. But yeah, what happened here was that I tried to do two Thundershocks uh, on the uh, Aerodactyl and safe swap onto my Shadow Gyarados, but unfortunately... This game just becomes stupid and decides to lag on me. Oh man, I was playing this battle in front of my older friends and I was screaming so loud. I was like, what? Why aren't you switching? Why aren't you switching? 
having this happen in a flying cup is absolutely frustrating because these hard hitting fast moves like rock throw every move that gets through absolutely counts okay finally we are switched into shadow gyarados and you can see how much shadow waterfall does and we are able to take out the opponent's uh, aerodactyl i think it was shadow as well yeah that's why i did two thunder shocks there before i uh, switched out Okay, and the Mantine does come back in, and I'm gonna go for my um, Aqua Tail and do some nice chip damage onto it, but it actually gets the shield, which is very interesting. Okay, the Mantine is gonna be able to bubble me down, and uh, I'm gonna come in with my Shadow Zapdos. Oh man, Mantine is double weak to electric, so man, you can see how much these Thunder Shocks do. Okay. Going for a bubble beam, I do not shield, knowing that. And yeah, it is going to debuff my attack, but that's fine. Shadow Zapdos doesn't care, and yeah, let's go for a drill peck attack, and we'll see what happens. It gets the second shield off the opponent, and the opponent comes in with freaking Talonflame. Oh my goodness, Shadow Aerodactyl absolutely shredding down the Talonflame, taking it out. I mean, obviously because it's double weak. Okay, man time comes back in, going for another charge move, I'm gonna shield. And it is gonna be that bubble beam again, but that's fine, we are so gonna win this game by going for the ancient power, even though Rock Slide clearly does more damage. I mean, Shadow, I mean, Aerodactyls um, work fine uh, even without a second charge move. But yeah, able to win this game very easily, and that is a GG's. Oh man, I mean, I gotta admit, like, the only reason why I won that game cause I, is because I got lucky with the Talonflame at the back. Yeah, I mean, my whole team basically counters a Talonflame. But yeah, we're matched up against Zakatoi, I think, for the second round, and we're up against another Mantine lead. Okay, let's see what the opponent does. They're not gonna switch out yet. I'm gonna charge up very quickly to a Thunder and go for a Drill Peck bait. Oh, let's see what the opponent does. They're probably gonna shield this. They are gonna shield this. And, yep, CMP ties, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna shield in return. And it's just gonna be a bubble beam, that's unfortunate. I thought, um, the Mantine got to an ice beam there. Okay, going for a second drill pick. Let's see if he gets the, let's see if that gets the shield as well. It does not get the shield. Can I Thundershock it down? Yes, I can. Mantine is taken out, and Aerotactyl comes in. Oh, no. Okay, but going for a drill pack. Let's see what the opponent does. They actually shield it, though, which is very interesting. Okay, I don't know why I um, let the Zapdos go down there. But I'm going to come in with the Shadow Gyarados. Absolutely chunk away, and we see another Talon Flame at the back. Holy crap! Able to take out the Talon Flame with the Shadow Aerodactyl. My goodness, and yeah. This is gonna be another GG's for the opponent. Alright. What a great second game as well. Oh wow. Just rip to Talon Flames uh, in Flying Cup. They are gonna get absolutely shredded hard by. Um, Mons like um, Gyarados and uh, Talonflame. Okay, in our third round, we're matched up against Saya Khan 0211 with Shadow Zapdos versus Emolga. Now, Emolga is another Pokemon in the uh, top meta for Flying Cup, and yeah, it also has Sunshock. It's gonna get to its charge move so quickly. Okay, Emolga's going for it. It's first charge move, I am gonna shield, but it's unfortunately an aerial ace that is resisted on Shadow Zapdos. Okay, the opponent's gonna come in with Altaria. I'm gonna go for a Thunder because Altaria is so bulky that the opponent might not shield this. They do not shield this, that does big damage onto the Altaria. Coming in with the Shadow Aerodactyl, able to take out the Altaria. Let's see what the opponent does here. They're gonna come in with their own shiny shadow aerodactyl. What a flex, oh my goodness. Going for an ancient power. 
Let's see if it gets the shield. It does get the shield. Yup, my Aerodactyl's gonna go down. Um, do I come in with the Gyarados? Because that might be the play. I am gonna come in with the Gyarados, able to waterfall down the Shiny Shadow Aerodactyl, and it's the Amolga that is left to handle. Okay, Amolga is going for a charge move. What do I do here? This is a tough scenario. I'm gonna let it go, hoping it's an aerial ace, but it's unfortunately a discharge which takes out my Gyarados. Shadow Zapdos comes into attack, trying to farm down to double drop hex, because that is my only condition to win this game. Emolga goes for a charge move, going to shield it, it is gonna be the discharge. Okay, going for a f going for the first drop hex to get the shield off the uh, Emolga. Gets the shield, and come on, can I get to the second drill pack? I can get to the second drill pack, that is amazing! Oh man, Th Thunder Shock is just such a great move. Okay, able to win this game with Shadow Zapdos, and yeah, that is a good game. GG's to the opponent. Oh my goodness. Triple Shadow teams have always been deadly in uh, Go Battle League. Okay, in the fourth round, we are matched up against Will Tatone Guy. We have Shadow Zapdos versus Emolga again. Okay, let's see what happens in this scenario. Okay, going to farm down to Thunder again, most likely for me. Yup, okay, the Emolga throws a charge move. I am gonna shield it and it is gonna be that discharge okay farming down to a thunder and going for that drill peck bait let's see if the opponent decides to shield man hopefully the opponent doesn't call this they do not they actually shield it oh man it's going to be problematic if the opponent actually calls the drill peck because drill peck is resistant onto uh emova okay going for a second drill peck this does not get the shield Okay, come on. Can I get to the next drill pack? Oh no, we're seeing some gold battle lag. It's still lagging. Able to get to the third drill pack though. That is absolutely huge. That's what she said. <laughs> oh yeah, but that's unfortunate for the opponents. Lag actually helped save me. Shield and switch advantage. Actually no, wait, just shield advantage. Because the Emolga is finally going to throw his charge move, going for the discharge, taking out my Shadow Zapdos. Okay, what do I come in with? I come in with Shadow Gyarados, they come in with their own Aerodactyl, I'm going to come in with my Aerodactyl, and chunk this thing down, able to do so. Yeah, I think that, I think I let a waterfall uh, through. Okay, Emolga comes in, able to rock throw it down as well, that is amazing. Okay, Sh Sh Zapdos comes in to attack. I'm able to get to a charge with- okay, I don't know why I clicked on Ancient Power there. I could've rocks- did rock slide and one shot it, but oh my goodness, did you see how much Ancient Power does onto Zapdos? But able to waterfall down this Zapdos and win this game. Wow, oh my goodness, that is the power of Shadow Aerodactyl. Oh man, okay, let's go ahead and get into our fifth round. Okay, in the final game, okay, I turned off uh, notifications. My bad, guys. We're matched up against Professor Steezy. We have Shadow Zapdos versus Scar, 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 Scary. which is a good lead. Oh man, but obviously my Shadow Aerodactyl does not want to see um, Skarmory because chances are it is running Steel Wing, which does super effective and chunks a lot onto Aerodactyls. Okay, Emolga comes in, going for a charge move, it is going to be the Discharge, which gets shielded by me. Okay, let's go for our first drill pack and see what the opponent does. Drill pack gets the shield, that is good. Okay, yep, we're going for our second drill pack before we get to the Thunder. Uh, oh man, I'm getting worried that uh, Emolga's going to um, throw a move before me. This does not get the shield, and two... Alright, Emolga throws a charge move now, and I decide to let it go, because I am... 
Okay, never mind. Okay, let's see what happens now. I come in with my Shadow Gyarados, able to waterfall down the Morga. And it's gonna be a Togekiss! Oh my goodness! Togekiss is pretty rare to see uh, in uh, Flying Cup. Okay, I come in with my um, Aerodactyl and the opponent swaps back into Skarmory. Okay, we're able to get to Rock Slide. Oh man, did you guys see how much Steel Wing did to uh, Shadow Aerodactyl? Okay, this Rock Slide is not gonna KO the um, Skarmory. Oh wow, that does a lot though. Okay. Aerodactyl's taken out. Hopefully I can waterfall down. Unfortunately, I'm not able to. Skarmory gets to a charge move. I'm gonna shield it, and it is gonna be that sky attack. And yep, we're able to waterfall down this Skarmory. But yeah, this looks like a loose a loss for me because oh man, charms just do so much damage to me. Yeah, and I had to get to back-to-back -to -back Aqua Tails to win this game. Alright, good game to my opponent on this final round. Okay, we're going... Okay, so we went 4-1 in this set, which is very good, and our encounter is lit. Alright, and that's the end of the recording. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Flying Cup. Man, those were, were, an, ep those were an epic set of games right there. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Like, oh man, like... Shadow Gyarados and Shadow Aerodactyl just do so much damage to almost anything in the meta, and yeah. My strategy with this team was to lead with Shadow Zapdos because it gets shield so easily um, off of people, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get to 250 subscribers on Transit Gaming, and yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.